while I do appreciate there being more Gundam content out there, I'm not entirely sure if this is a game that I'll pick up or enjoy a whole lot. If it goes to Game Pass, then maybe I'll play it and I'll try it out. But if it doesn't go to Game Pass, I probably wouldn't buy it until it went on sale like really cheap. Went into this not even thinking about ever playing this game to be like, okay, well, if John gets this, maybe I'll borrow it from him. <laughs> Good thing. Fighting, they look clunky. They look messy. All that nonsense. It, it, it's just bad uh, to me. The boss fight was the thing that you could see clearer, and it's because the boss is 10 times your size. But if you're fighting somebody, you're same like size. So there is no combo to so this like when it comes to a fighting game you can't do nothing like you just hack it. yeah it's kind of like it's a like a beat em up like like a hack and slash that shit garbage I love and we are back for another reaction video what's going on guys <laughs> <laughs> hope you're living well doing right I'm here with my good brothers we got the razor sharp assassin with the clipper and johnny b we also got the black kage the hook kage aka chris b yep. and we got batman forward blood and fire yo yo semiwa batman shawnee in the building and we are the nerdy by nature boys <laughs> 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 That might be my best one of the night. All right. So you know who we are. You know what we do. We're here to react to some videos for you. So today, who knows what we're reacting to? Gundam Breakers 4. It's a new Gundam, Gundam Breakers 4. 4. As you can see, the reason why we're watching Gundam Breakers 4 is because oh we have a special guest here today with us. Johnny B is reacting with us today. Round of applause. Hi, hi. All right. So let's get into this trailer. Let's do it. Pull it up. Pull it up. With a trailer may contain content inappropriate for children. All right. You're building your own gunpla. And then Whoa. you're fighting it. So let, let's go with the music on that. It's like a lot of it. Okay. Sorry let's, about that. Like fast paced combat. Yeah, they have a heavy focus on like building. So it's like yeah, That's customizing. Dope. I can see the online community spending hours. Hours on this shit. Yeah, Gundams. This Ooh. yeah, this looks chaotic. This looks crazy. It does look chaotic. I would have to play it to. Yeah, I think it'll really. You know. I like the boss battle looks dope. Yeah. I mean, it is a cool concept. You create your Gundams and then you team like you team up and take down like missions and battle off. Because that's essentially what makes Gundam fun, is like all yeah. the combinations. See, that's stuff that like I appreciate when they do those things. They give you those like photo modes, but I'm never gonna. Mm -hmm. use I'm never gonna use the photo mode. Yeah. Oh, burning Gundam dust fire. Yeah, the RX seventy eight. The mm -hmm. the the graphics look pretty good. I was gonna yeah. say I was gonna say the opposite. You're not a fan it's of not the, the way this You're not going to be 4K, but it looks kind of dope. Yeah, like it's it's definitely 720, but it looks it looks pretty clean. I can't I can't lie. As we get the SD gun um, in there as well. I'm yeah. pretty I'm pretty <laughs> impressed with that trailer. I went into this not even thinking about ever playing this game to be like, okay, well if John gets this, maybe I'll borrow it from him. <laughs> I, borrow. I still have a game that I have to go back to. Uh, but I'll borrow it from him for show sure to play. But yeah, um, this shit looked like Gundam. I think I agree with what John was saying. You know, the ability to customize your Gundam and create your own Gundam is what makes Gundam fun. So I am pretty much down to see more gameplay. And yeah, see how yeah. this shit looks like in, in a non-trailer setting. 
Like, yeah. Not, don't cut very fast. Yeah. Slow it down for me. Slow it down. <laughs> Slow it down for me. Feel me? But that's that's really all I have to say. I don't really have much to say about these types of games. These are that's not my wheelhouse. Or garbage. Not, not <laughs> like anything. It don't look straight, like straight garbage. It don't look like something that interests you. Garbage. Uh, have you been a fan of anything Gundam in the past? Uh, I like the Gundam figurines. You know, when you build them, and shit. the, the Gunplas cool. themselves. They're pretty cool. Have you watched you built, Gundam? You built a few. I watched. I think couple episodes i'm not a fan of max like anime yeah i mean because some of the older ones they drag but, but i'm not saying i'm not saying it because of that specifically i'm just saying what i saw mm-hmm. to me was garbage so you, you're gonna you're gonna want to watch uh mobile suit gundam iron-blooded orphans i keep telling you guys <laughs> to watch iron-blooded orphans um, bringing that shit up. Watch, watch, watch Iron Gundam Man. Wing. Well, Gundam Wing is good, but you know it's, it's in that classic anime category now because it's much older. You want to see something a little newer and a little bit some, something that's just probably uh, more interesting. If you want to watch, you want to watch to me, listen to me. You two fighting about no, some anime and shit. Listen to me. If I listen, if I watch the anime, I'm probably gonna watch it through and like it sort of, kinda. I'm talking about strictly this trailer right here you're talking about the game the game does not look garbage garbage doesn't look fun the only good thing what's the customization because y'all know y'all know me you want to be able to customize everything yeah only good thing fighting they look clunky they look look messy all that nonsense it's just bad Uh, to me the boss fight was the thing that you could see clearer and it's because the boss is ten times your size. But if you're fighting somebody your same like size, you, there is no combos for this. Like when it comes to a fighting game, you can't do nothing. Like you just hack. Yeah, it's kind of like it's a like hack a beat em up, like like a hack and slash. That shit garbage. I like some of those games because I like to just mindlessly smash the. Yeah, end. but the when you when you have a hack and slash, when there's people that don't have so much stuff on it, like as a, if it's just a regular human hacking and slashing, throwing kicks, throwing punches, it looks cool because you see the punches, you see the kicks. You have a Gundam with wings and a sword and the, and all these big pieces on the body of itself. It looks clunky. Yeah, I get what you mean. You know what I'm saying? Like so that that just looked weird to me. Maybe it's just this trailer, how they cut it, but that should look nasty. So I think the trailer's cut really, really fast. This looks like mm-hmm. something that I want to see some more of. I'm not entirely sure if it's a game that like I'm gonna go out and buy. I do really like Gundam, but I like more of like the Gundam animes personally. I've played a few Gundam games before. And like some of my favorite Gundam games are just straight up fighting games. They're not like these arena style fighting games, like the one that we saw. They're like 2D fighting games. Like there's a Gundam Seed game, like for the Game Boy Advance that I played a while back, and it is just a straight up 2D Gundam fighting game. And it was and it was pretty. That cool. sounds more. Like, and that sounds more of a fun game than this. Yeah, year. and I and I like stuff like that. I would like to see. Like a 2D Gundam fighting game come to modern consoles with like updated mm-hmm. graphics and stuff like that. And I think that would be like a, a really Spider-Z fun. Yeah, I think that yeah. would be a really dope game and really dope concept. Maybe Arc Systems could work on something like that. They have great like fighting game mechanics, but I'm not sure about these arena fighters as much. I've, I tried the last one that came out. It was like SD Gundam Alliance or something like that. It, it, it came out on Game Pass when, uh, the day it came out. And I played it for a little bit, and it was a little interesting, but I, I, I never picked it back up again after that. And while I do appreciate there being more Gundam content out there, I'm not entirely sure if this is a game that I'll pick up or enjoy a whole lot. If it goes to Game Pass, then maybe I'll play it, and I'll try it out. But if it doesn't go to Game Pass, I probably wouldn't buy it until it went on sale, like really cheap. It's just not a game that I'm rushing to stores to go get. How do you feel, Shawnee? Um, let me lead with I love Gund- Gundam. I love the OG Gundam. I love Gun- Fighter G. Um, 
I don't plan on getting this game personally. As much as I love Gundam, I think my favorite Gundam game was um, the Dynasty Warriors Gundam series where it was just like straight beat them up. You pick your Gundam, you go, oh, you fun. take down under the Gundam factions, you would reenact some of the, the greatest storylines in the game. Um, the third game wasn't necessarily the best for me because they started like intertwining like a it was a like your choose your own adventure type of um mashup where it was just like a fan. It was like, um, what's the word? Not fantasy when it's like you can crash the different series all into one like it's like create um, not a creature on adventure but um uh a cross i can't remember the name a cross crossover over. yeah yeah it's like a cro- like a dream a dream a dream game a dream crossover um the customization is cool but gunpla has a specific fandom that loves that customization and building those gundams and whatnot yeah the building part is gonna the go building nuts for pa- them. the building part will go nuts for them it won't go nuts for me because I don't build Gunpla. I think they look dope as fuck. Mm-hmm. I would rather pay somebody to make that shit for me than I could just display mm-hmm. it. But mm-hmm. I don't want to build it. I don't want to paint mm-hmm. it. And I don't want to fucking customize it because that shit just sounds mad stressful. Yes. This is this game has this game has its fandom and it has its audience it's aiming for. But I am not it. As much as I love Gundam, I agree. I would rather watch the anime. Give me another Dynasty Warriors Gundam where I could just pick my Gundam. Have them go battle out and just hack and slash for minutes on hours. But this is just not my wheelhouse, and that's okay. It'll be fun for those. It, it's clearly the fourth one in the series, which means there is a fandom that's supporting it. And hey, shout out to you, Gunpla people, because you got it. I can't do it. And, you know, y'all eating. That's all I got. Garbage. Great. <laughs> you know what? I don't even have a question for the end of this video. No. I'll see you guys in another video. Oh man, Chris Bean's out. I can't. All right, and that was that was uh yeah, Gundam Gundam Breakers Four. Can't hear you, supposedly, man. yeah, we can't hear you at all. Yeah. Gundam Breakers Four. All right, let's rate it. If he since he wanted to rate it, my bad. Twenty twenty four. No, I wasn't gonna yeah, rate it. I was gonna say if this is playable, but none of us want to really play it like that. No, no it, it didn't get positive <laughs> reactions from any of us. Uh, so I don't think we need to really go around there. But yeah, yeah I mean, no, that that was Gundam Breakers Four. I guess we're going to get a more concrete release date later on this year, sometime 2024. Maybe, maybe, I don't want to say holiday. Maybe summer. Hopefully not. Cause then maybe summer. Not. Ah, shit, I'll tell you one thing. I'll watch fall. people play it on YouTube, but Facts. I'm not playing it. Summer, I'll, I'll, summer, watch summer, fire. I'll watch him make the gun if I customize yes, it. Yes, I'll watch you make I'll be, it. I'll watch, I'll watch you two hour video. I'll put that shit on. Yes. Let you talk your shit. It'll be it'll be all of my algorithms for two weeks. Hey, hey, whoever made this Gundam game, this is garbage. You hear me? (laughs) Garbage. All right, that's it for us, guys. See you on the next reaction video. Hopefully, John will be here. Most likely he won't. Peace. (laughs) What's going on, people? It's your boy Mackie O M. Ayo! And you made it to the end of this video. We appreciate and love every single one of you nerds that have come, watched, and now you have conquered, okay? If you want to follow us, you can subscribe to the YouTube at Nerdy by Nature TV. That's Nerdy by Nature TV. You can also listen to the podcast on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. That's Nerdy by Nature Podcast, the Nerdy by Nature Podcast. And guess what? We're also on social media. You can follow us anywhere. Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, Nerdy by Nature TV. That's at Nerdy by Nature TV. And if you don't follow us, why I oughta? I'll see you there. Peace.